Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Bola Buddy portable Bluetooth speaker. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look on the front here, it says water resistant slash proof, LED light, type C charging, TWS, that's true wireless stereo. So you can take two of these and put them together and have a stereo pair. So let's get this open. We have USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. We have 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable, and we have a lanyard. Let's pull the speaker out. Here we have the speaker and the manual. Let's take a look at it. So here we have the different buttons. We have the on off button. You hold it down for two seconds to turn it on or off. It has a plus or minus button and you press them once to turn the volume up or down or you long press to go to the previous or next tracks. We have a play button. You press it to play or pause and then there's a button you press to turn on the lights. Now you can answer calls with this with the play button or reject a call. So you'd short press to answer, double click to reject. It has an indicator light. Red is for charging. Blue is for pairing. And here are the specs. Input is five volts at one amp. Playtime is up to 24 hours at 30% volume. This supports Bluetooth 5.3. This would also work with previous versions. Range is 66 foot or 20 meters. Has an IPX5 waterproof rating. And then we have the size and weight dimensions there. On the back, it talks about pairing it. This talks about connecting it with an auxiliary cable and the true wireless stereo pair. This talks about resetting it. So you can pause and read through these things that I'm not covering fully. And we have some safety precautions. So here's the speaker. We have the drivers here. We have the buttons on top. On the back, we have an opening for charging and auxiliary. So this is going to have that IPX5 waterproof rating. If the back is closed, if it's open, it won't. You don't want this in a wet location while you're charging it or using auxiliary. Then on the bottom, we have these rubber feet. And then we have these passive radiators on the ends here. So the lanyard could go through this corner here. So I'll pass this through like so. And then I'll pass the main part of the handle through the loop, and now we have a lanyard. So let's try charging this real quick. Now you can charge this with any phone charger or USB outlet. So we're currently charging at 0.6 amps. So this has two ways to get audio into it. You can use Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone or computer, tablet, gaming system, or you can use the auxiliary cable to plug it into legacy devices like a portable CD player. You could also use this to connect it to a television if you wanted to use this like a little mini soundbar, like in an RV or something. So let's test this out. I'll hold down the power button to turn it on. Now I'll go into my iPad here, and I'll go into my Bluetooth settings. Okay, so we see the X go, I'll tap that. It made a sound saying it's connected. I'll bring up some music and let's play some. So I can turn the volume up with these buttons. So I'll hold this down, take me to the next track. I can hit play pause to pause it. This also has lights on it. So I'll turn the lights off here and I'll press the light button. So we have four color modes. This is the color changing mode. Then if we press it again, we have solid red. Again, we have solid green. A third time solid blue, and then again it shuts off. So here I have a water bottle holder for a bike. I'll try putting it in this. So it looks like it fits in like that. So this isn't advertised as working at a water bottle cage, but you could put it in there. Now you might still want to tie this around the frame or something so it doesn't slip out. Because see if I held this upside down, it does hold it, but if I shake it a little, it will come out. But there might be people that want to use this with a bicycle. But there's probably other ways you could rig that up too. So that's the Bulla Buddy portable Bluetooth speaker. I like the triangle shape of this. It puts the speakers out front and facing up a little bit. So this would work well positioned nicely on a desk or table. It had nice sound quality. It didn't get real distorted when I had it at full volume. Now these are small speakers so you're not going to feel the bass coming out of these because you can only have so much bass with smaller speakers but this could be good in a gym workout area office dorm room bar area i like that it has the lights on it and then you can turn them off so depending on your mood you could have those on or off 
and it has those nice real thick rubber feet on the bottom too, so it's not going to rattle against the surface it's sitting on. It has nice shock absorption there. But otherwise, it was very easy to use, simple controls, nothing overly complicated. And I just showed it with the Bluetooth today, but it does have that auxiliary cable here, so you can connect it to legacy devices. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.